Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I am going to explain how to write sub-functions in Autolis program. First of all, we shall start with the example. Let me show you one formula calculation. So, NCR formula, hope everybody know about this one. NCR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. Here, we need to calculate the factorial value for N, N minus R as well as R. Means if you write a program for this formula calculation, we need to write the factorial calculation for three times in the same program. So the same code will be repeated for three times. In such cases, we will write a separate function which will take one number as argument means the input and it will calculate the factorial value and it will return that value to the calling function. So that we don't have to repeat the same code again and again in the main function. So to avoid the repetition of the code, we will write separate functions which can reduce the confusion of the program as well as the readability of the program will increase. At the same time, later if any modification occurs in the sub program, we just need to modify it only once in the sub, sub function. We don't have to repeat the modification again and again throughout the program. So that is the main use. So let us see with the example. Let's go to Visual IDE. Here we can see a small pseudo code. So generally every time we write our program with a C colon, which means a command to execute at the AutoCAD command prompt. So if you write C colon and command name, that is called as main function, where you can use this command at the command prompt. But for a sub function, we don't write C colon like this. So define get factorial. And here there is one argument i, which is a input for this get fact function. It will take one argument as input. And here the functionality is not yet written. This get fact function will take one value as argument and it will calculate the factorial for the received value and it will return that factorial value which is calculated to the calling function over here. So if you want to calculate n factorial value here in the main function there are two variables n and r. If you want to calculate the factorial value using this get fact function we need to call the function like this bracket get fact the function name and the argument we need to pass this is enough simply one parenthesis and the function name as well as the required argument is a must when we call sub function like this the program flow from this statement will be changed means the control of the program will be transferred to this get fact function and this function ex execution will start here so it will take this i value which means the n value will be copied from here to here into i and that i value will be utilized by this get fact function and we need to write the code to calculate the factorial and once the calculation completes this function will return that factorial value back to this calling function so to store it into a separate variable we can write it like this n factorial value and close this means whatever the value returned by this get fact function will be stored in this n fact variable. Similarly, to get r fact, we will call the same function once again and we will send r value so that get fact function will calculate factorial of r and it will return that value which we are saving here into r fact variable. Similarly, set q n minus r factorial. So same function I am calling once again and passing n minus r value to get func get fact function means whatever the value of n minus r that will be sent to this get fact function which will in turn calculate the factorial value and that will be returned back and that is saved in nmr fact variable. So here our aim is to calculate ncr value. So here we will calculate ncr value and the factorial function will take care of calculating factorial here we are writing factorial calculation only once we are not repeating it for three times in the main function so what is the main difference of main function as well as sub function in auto list this main function will have c colon and this sub function will not have c colon and if you write any arguments means if you need any inputs from the main function to this sub function you need to write it over here Mostly in database programs, we will write many sub-functions because 
like if you want to get any field value from the database you will write a sub function and we will pass the table name as well as the field name so that that sub function will get the value of that particular field from the particular table from the database so that is how these sub functions are used in other programs so once if you learn writing this uh, this kind of sub functions like you can use this extensively in autolist programming and you can save a lot of time as well as you can increase the readability of the program and the efficiency of the program as well so let us try to finish this program and try to understand how to write sub functions okay so here our main function is ncr and we have a variable n whose value is 4 and another variable r whose value is 2 we are assigning over here you can also take this as input arguments by using getInt function so as of now we are directly de declaring n value as 4 and r value as 2 here set q ncr divided by n fact here in the denominator product of n minus r factorial into n m r factorial into r factorial so with that we will get ncr value means in the numerator n factorial we are writing in the denominator we are writing the product of n minus r factorial into r factorial and to display this one simply write alert real to string whose value ncr value in decimal format with two number of decimals that's all so this will pop up a message showing that ncr value calculated ncr value okay let's finish this sub function also get factorial so first of all i would like to initialize two variables like this set q counter value with i input value and fact variable with one that's it two variables are sufficient i am initializing counter variable with i whatever the input value whose factorial is to be calculated and a factorial variable means the final result value i am initializing with one what i would like to do is like i will start counter variable with i and i will reduce one each time the counter variable rotates in the while loop so let us start a while loop over here while counter is greater than one means up to one hope everybody knows how to calculate factorial value so how do we calculate if n is given to calculate the factorial value we need to multiply n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into like that up to 1 so whatever the product comes that is the factorial value the same thing i am doing over here so i am starting counter with i means n and i will reduce its value by 1 every time that while loop rotates so starting we are taking counter value as n and as long as counter value is greater than 1 we are writing like this set q factorial existing fact into counter and reduce the counter variable by 1 1 minus counter means every time 1 will be deducted from the counter variable so each time while loop rotates the counter value will be reduced by 1 once it comes to equals to 1 automatically while loop will get exit and in the end we need to write fact variable over here so that that value will be returned back to the main function very simple initialize the counter variable with the given value and factorial variable with one as long as counter variable is greater than one so we will multiply existing factorial with counter variable and we will reduce counter by one in each iteration of in each iteration of while and in the end you will return the factorial value what are the value hold by the fact variable that will be returned back to this main function so here we are calling get fact function for three times so we will get three factorial values and we are using those values in the formula and we are calculating ncr value and in the end make sure that localize all the variables hope everybody know why do we localize variables used in the program so if you localize these variables they will be removed from the memory so that the memory will be kept free which can be used for the other programs later so to clear the memory which we are using in the program we need to localize variables means simply put a backslash forward slash over here and write all the variable names over here so that they will be automatically cleared 
after the execution of the program okay then here in the sub function also we need to clear the variable name variable values okay then so the program is finished so let us see what is it we are doing in the program we are initializing n value as 4 r value as 2 and we are calling get fact function and sending n value to the get fact function and we are getting n factorial and then we are getting r factorial value and then we are getting n minus r values factorial and then we are calculating ncr value and showing it up in the get fact function it will take one value as argument or as input and here we are initializing counter variable and fact variable fact variable is the result so as long as counter variable is greater than one we are keep on multiplying existing factorial value with the counter and we will we are decreasing the counter variable by one until the counter value becomes one once that is finished then while loop get exit and the factorial value will be returned back to main function okay let's check this code in the editor like check text in the editor so that if there are any errors it will say there are no errors again load the text into the editor means into autocad so it is loaded now the command is ncr just call that type the command in the autocad and check what happens so go to autocad and type ncr and press enter so it is saying 6 as the factorial value so let us try to calculate the factorial value so here n factorial means the n value is 4 means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and then n minus r factorial means 4 minus 2 2 2 factorial means 2 into 1 again r is 2 means 2 into 1 so 2 2s are 4 so 4 4 gets cancelled and 3 2s are 6 so whatever the value returned by this uh, program is correct because we also got the same value 6 as result so hope everybody understood this one so the main concept is like how to write a sub function and how to call that sub function to get the values that is the thing here you have to learn if you do not understand please watch the video once again and try to and try to understand the program i will try to keep this program in the comment session so you can copy that one and try to write in your own way and i request all of you to subscribe my channel as well as share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.